Well, I just hope for the best and prepare for the worst, so. Now to a medical mystery. A girl wakes up on Christmas Day feeling fine and then by bedtime can no longer feel her legs. She still is not what, but as Andrew Horansky tells us, she remains hopeful. Isabel Kirby got just what she wanted for Christmas, a new TV. Then, within a few hours, got the biggest surprise of her life. My legs started hurting really bad, like for like five minutes straight and just felt really bad. And then they went numb. And then like I couldn't walk. The next day, the active 13-year-old from Medina was at Akron Children's getting an MRI, learning she had a condition called acute flaccid myelitis, or AFM, which had paralyzed the lower half of her body, a condition that could be permanent. Random, like really random, not like out of the blue. Yet she's handled it with grace beyond her years. She's stronger than I am. <laughs> I don't show up when I'm around her, but she's definitely stronger than I am as she battles a virus which is rare and of which little is known. One in a million-ish. Um, yeah, so we have about 100 cases a year in the United States of the acute flaccid myelitis complication of this virus. Adults can get it, but really most of the cases have been reported in children, so children seem to have some kind of unique susceptibility to it. Isabel has received steroids and plasma, planning to go home on the 27th, hopeful this will all just be temporary. I think I can, like, walk. You're determined? Yeah, determined, yeah. Yes, she is. Doctors say it could be months, even years, before she knows whether she can walk. The good news is, though, that some feeling has returned to her legs since Christmas. Oh, wow, that is good news. Is there anything people can do to protect themselves? Well, not really, other than what yeah. doctors say, washing your hands. Um, but they do know that kids are at greater risk uh, when their immune systems are compromised. In Isabel's case, she did have a small cold on the day that she became paralyzed, so it's just another example of how those colds can lead to greater complications if you don't take care of them right away. And how these viruses can spread. Oh. Yeah. Mm. All right. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Drew. Sure.